It's week eight? Is that? Okay. It's week eight. Hello. Welcome to Mirror Shades. And someone's playing music to the stream? Who's sending me the music? What? Why can't I hear it? That's what? me. Music? Oh, that's me. We did it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What are you talking about? Oh my LA. god. It's been a it's been like four days, guys. I forgot how to broadcast. JP, I totally thought it was me. I know that's. I thought it was you immediately. I I even saw one of my channels was unmuted. I'm like, oh my god, oh oh shit, and then I muted it. But then you're like, oh no, it's me because I wasn't gonna say anything. I was just gonna make you go. Yeah. You don't have to be the best. Just don't be the worst. Well, I've lost. Oh, there's my. I moved everything around in the room, and I've just forgotten where everything is. Um, hi. JP, Hello. are you okay? Yeah. I'm good. We need to take a second. Okay. I'm good. I haven't streamed okay. today, and I didn't. I haven't streamed in a while. It's been like three days. I'm out of my comfort zone, guys. That wow, three days people, without streaming? That's yeah. shocking. Yeah, and then when they, they they came and cleaned the mixer, and you know when someone who's not acclimated to cleaning a mixer, they just kind of do, do like one swipe over oh, everything God. and fuck with all the knobs. <laughs> oh, so I'm no. slowly finding out oh. that uh, a lot of stuff was touched. But I uh, thought you were talking about like a blender. I was like, did they fuck up your blender, JP? <laughs> then I was like, oh, audio mixing. Yeah, That's audio mixing. Ah. Yeah. I, I remember. It. Yes. Yeah. 77 I hours think. is what everyone's telling me. That's, I can't believe someone counted how long it's been uh, since I streamed. That's kind of weird. You guys are weird. Uh, let's start the stream with a personal question. Do you guys like flavored gum? And if so, do you like fruit flavored gum or do you stick with I the mint? I don't like gum. You don't like gum? I don't like gum very much you because know, like when I chew it, my teeth are super sensitive. So a lot of times when I chew it, it's the same sort of reaction that my teeth have when I eat like Skittles where it's just something really sweet attached to my tooth and uh, my tooth's like, get uh, it off, get it off, get it off, get it off. So gum a lot of times so the, the bigger question is how do you go through life not being able to eat skittles yeah skittles are pretty yeah. good right? i suck on them it's weird it's not the oh, same they don't it's really get that's a thing do they get soft though when you like yeah jb they're, they're, outside... they're only this big you can just swallow them when you're done it's, it's okay <laughs> I don't well, like yeah that the outside shell slowly <laughs> disappears and then you're just left with like a weird goop monster in your mouth <laughs> and so you have to decide whether you want to swallow that or like chew it a little so do you like starburst Horrible dodger i do like starburst another one that hurts my teeth though starburst mm. mini I've never had a Starburst. I've never had well, they're Starburst mini, or, so they're literally just half size. <laughs> Are they? Uh, so I guess they're they're rectangles instead of squares. Wheat is that what? what? They're they're tiny. You've never seen a Starburst mini? No, man. I don't. You've eat never eaten eat one. I don't eat that oh, much candy, God. dude. You guys, I, it, this is one of he those moments. Shock. <laughs> this is one of those moments where I wish I was you. Look, just, can we just can just we just so I could eat a Starburst mini again? Do they? For the first I'm gonna time. assume wheat. Important question. They taste just like Starburst. Yes. No, actually, they're even a bit sweeter than. I don't know. Are it's hard sour? to explain. Anyone who's fan. eaten both a mini and a Starburst will know what I'm talking about. But there is definitely a difference. What about uh, what about Laffy Taffy, an old school favorite of mine? The banana Laffy Taffy. That's would... too. That's Charles Charleston Chew. Anybody like Laffy Taffy <laughs> is good. like gambling, what? because you might enjoy it or you might lose a tooth. I was just saying, look, look, weed is an old man, and he can't just be eating things like that all the time. <laughs> See, what I would do as a kid, I would go to Blockbuster and get like a, a bag of. And they, sometimes you could just buy like a bag of banana Laffy, Laffy Taffy, and there'd be like, I don't know, twelve, maybe fifteen of them in there, and I'd get all of them. And I'd roll them into a giant ball. And then I would just eat the ball in like in one sitting. So that's what I did as a kid was just eat a last happy like, ball. You just like bite out of it like an apple? Yeah. That sounds yeah. gross. Oh, oh it was magical. It was great. <laughs> I, think, I, I think that's I a pretty really standard tactic. Yeah, right I've, I've eaten a mega Skittle once or twice in my time. <laughs> I've never rolled Skittles together before. Just compressing no, because candy I was, entire bag. I did literally the opposite. I would pour out all the Skittles and then whichever um, there were more of i would separate the colors and then i would eat them in order by which color had the least amount of skittles up to the most amount of skittles oh that would have totally you considered seeking treatment for your obsessive compulsive <laughs> no i feel no. like it only it only makes my life more exciting i sort and then <laughs> i eat by preference of flavor so i sort really? and then i eat well i used to eat lemon green apple orange cherry grape is last but then those ass fucks over at whoever makes Skittles decided that maybe they should get rid of lime 
and put in green apple instead. So now it goes green apple, lemon, orange, grape. I see. Uh, excuse me. Cherry grape. So you eat the ones you don't like the most. First. First. Yeah, yeah. I do that too. Yes. Yeah. yeah you so want to you're always right left now. with grape. Exactly. See, I start the with best. the thing that I like the first, but I don't eat all of it, and then I come back to it at the end, so the entire meal's like beginning and ending on a good note. That's what I do with runts, because I love the banana runts, and I want to be like eating them throughout, but I want to know that at the end I'm gonna have like a little connection of ba banana runts that I can like find eat. Out what runts oh, are, but I was like that too. Oh, yeah. I can't eat runts anymore. Those things make me sick. I think I Aww. ate too many as a kid. Where do you even get them now? Didn't you have to get them with like nickels? Like put a nickel into a thing and turn it? I <laughs> think you, you can get them. Right? Only have nickels, you can buy can them. You? Nerds? Yeah, you, you can buy them right that. now on the fabulous website, Amazon.com. Yes. Yeah. Are you buying just bananas though? Uh, How many affiliate link purchases of runts are you going to get? <laughs> you can buy, I hope a lot. Get you can buy, on it, internet. You can buy a five pound bag of runts for 20 bucks right now. Can and shit. Oh! I'm about yeah, to go buy. All your McNuggets. I'm about to buy buy now with that one shit click. could be currency in a fucking apocalypse. So just buy five pounds and it will take you five years to eat it. I'm ready for like, a plasma rifle. Something happens. <laughs> I'm trying to think how much five. Do they have like the measure? They're like here? denominations. The bananas are a hundred. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> What's like the measurement of the bag here? I want to see how big five pounds of. The dark future we're envisioning. A shit ton of runts. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what a weird start to show. <laughs> uh, oh, I decided to just make a Blaken statement. Well, it's because this, got gum. It, well, it's because I got I got Trident Tropical Fruit. You can see it here, on, and it's it's fucking terrible. It, Trident bought, loses its flavor oh, so fast. Yeah, Every Trident. I bought so, so much fast. Trident gum, and like it's already. I don't know if I like chew gum too quickly, but I feel like five minutes after I put it in, it's already dissolving in my mouth. But I don't yeah. know how to feel about that. Mm -hmm. That's a it's problem. Like double with gum. I'm yep. pretty sure that if I found a lamp and rubbed it and a genie came out and gave me three wishes, that my first wish might be to give me a stick of zebra striped gum. gum that just Ooh. always retains its flavor. So would you take it out during meals? Like, you know, you take your retainer out, just put it to the side. <laughs> And then put yes. it back in after after you're done eating. Maybe just the pack. Maybe I need to think about it a little An more. Everlasting like gum. Pack. What if you accidentally Maybe you could just, out Yeah, out your say. whole wish just gone. It's <laughs> well, it's actually a rough situation if you swallow it, Adam. But <laughs> oh, it's right. only happened to us a couple times, so we won't go into it. <laughs> exactly. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, Gross. don't buy Trident Tropical. In fact, just don't buy Trident. It's not a good gum no, brand. No, never. Yeah. Not, I was I was testing the waters, and then I also got uh, Eclipse. They're not that good either. I got to stick with the Dentine uh, Polar Ice. Are you doing a re those are harsh? I, guess gum? I just buy a lot of gum. I don't know. As a gum name, Dentine, ah. I get because it's got the tooth thing going on. But why would you name gum after a three pronged fishing implement like Trident? Yeah. Because it, it's like, supposed because to like it hits clean your teeth. Like the waves. What, no, you know it, that they, they put fish on the end of those it, things. It cleans so. and protects teeth like a trident if you were to pick your teeth I, with this a trident. This is internet worthy. <laughs> Poseidon of the mouth, I guess. Like, Did you make that up, Dodger? I'm like, is that... What? Did you just make that up on the spot? It hits you like the waves, the gum? Or is that something yeah. they use? <laughs> wow, that's really <laughs> good. Thanks. But a trident has nothing to do with advertising. You don't get hit by a wave and be like, man, that felt like a trident. It makes no yeah, sense. A trident is a sharp piece yeah, of metal. But, Several but of them. A trident is what Poseidon held, and he's the king oh, of the sea. Oh, fuck are we talking? Snap. I'm bringing it back. I'm bringing it back. Oh, no, 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 no. Fucking stop the presses because the internet has just owned this conversation. What's that? All right, you ready to have your mind blown? Let's hear it. Okay, Trident gum has three ingredients beneficial to teeth. <laughs> Try oh, three yeah. dent associated Jeez. with oral health. Oh. Boom! Thank you. <laughs> you know, what? princess for feline <laughs> fell in from six years ago on Yahoo Answers because you <laughs> solved everything. Turns oh, out, if you God. know Latin, you never have to ask these questions. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Amazing. And that's know. why I just get mints instead of gum. I used to be, you know, mints really fuck your teeth up. They're like terrible for your teeth. I love talking about how it's I, worse than gum. I would go through. Because they're all hard. Yeah, I would go through you like a box. Them, Do you ever see like the giant tin cans of Altoids? Like the giant ones. Yeah. So I would go through one of those in like a week. 
I would chew I, uh, Altoids? Pee -pee. I was you chewing have, like, Altoids. You have oral fixation problems. I do. I do. <laughs> I was just constantly pop. Everything Altoids. in his house had teeth marks all over it. Just in fact, yes. <laughs> in yeah. fact, when I was like uh, 14, it was between Moogle or Toity for my Quake 3 name for the first like online internet name, name I ever had. And I went with Moogle instead. So there you go. <laughs> little backstory. <laughs> little backstory. I really want some Altoids now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hi, welcome to Roleplay Mirror Shades Week eight or something uh yeah, something. or Nailed something it. we you didn't go to ultra right you weren't in ultra this weekend in Are miami yes that your name I is wheat in san francisco okay I, I didn't know if you went or not i couldn't tell by the the, the text when i asked if you're being sincere or not what i don't know i just couldn't tell <laughs> what you, you never asked me if i was in ultra yeah Are i'm you, pretty sure thinking, i did no you what uh, what it, it, I'm unless I like had a fever dream, which might have happened because I did drink a lot this weekend. But hold on, hold on. I'm going to read the text that I got <laughs> from. <laughs> Beginning. This is a I can't time. mute me, and he's hosted the call, so I can't hang it's up on only him. Only two. It's only two messages. And Friday, five sixteen p.m. Mm. This would be approximately four hours and sixteen minutes into Ultra. You text me. We are going next year. Oh. <laughs> I text you back, LOL, K. Didn't I message you on? That's me? it. That's the end of the conversation. Like, you didn't text me anymore. I don't understand. <laughs> I'm fine this fucking conversation, damn it. That was it. They, what? You, did, did you dream this? Maybe. All right. Well, that's all. I don't know. Someone Maybe else must have been bullshitting you about being an ultra. Well, it wasn't me. I don't know. I, I know, know that at some point JP sent me the message. How does Sam look in a tank top? We should go to Ultra. That's true. <laughs> it's true. So and you ignored I think it. JP had a lot of good one-liners about Ultra when it started. I did. It was good. It was mm -hmm. good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was not Ultra. I I do have one thing to say. Oh yeah. I had I had a brand new copy. It's still in its nice wrapper of Bloodborne. You know, like I've been playing oh, yeah. some Heroes. I've like got these other games I haven't played. But for whatever reason, I pick up my my iPad this week. I'm I'm like, oh, I have I have ten minutes that I can blow. Let me open a game, and I go, and my finger hits FTL, and then suddenly nine hours of the fucking weekend's gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's Where did it. They go? There you go. I have that you exact haven't same problem. Even but touched it was Bloodborne yet. <laughs> yeah, you haven't no, touched haven't. Bloodborne. Nope, nope. FTL, man, just fucking. I'm I'm. Yeah, trying all sorts of new extreme strats, and I can't fucking get enough of that <laughs> shit. How many kinds of tonight. ship builds, man? Um, I have not, ever. Wait, so, really? Do you ever, like... Ever. Ever. Not on my iPad. Like... Not on my iPad. Oh, yeah, I've never played on iPad. So, so I've, just only, I've never it? beat AE, because I've only played the, the iPad version of AE. I've unlocked all these ships. I beat the original version several times on PC, but I've never beat AE. And what difficulty do you play on your iPad? Normal? Normal. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Is there an easy in that game? Yes. An FCL? Mm -hmm. I don't. There's... I beat it on some difficulty setting, and it, it, it's on YouTube. Probably I, easy. It's probably easy. That game's hard as shit. <laughs> it is hard game. Yeah, it's hard as shit. You're right, but it's, it's fun as shit, and it's great. Yeah. I loved it. So anyway, that's all you did was was watch Ultra and play FTL. Um. Yeah, I watched Ultra. You wouldn't got a haircut, and you wouldn't show a me a picture. You wouldn't take a I, selfie. I wouldn't take a selfie. You called me out for saying selfie or some. I don't know. <laughs> I was probably drunk at that point too. So I saw know. that exchange. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that. It looks pretty. It looks this just is, like it did. I think this is what the dystopian future is like. By the way, everybody, it's people reading their Twitter to each other live on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Oh, well, okay. Cyberpunk is here. That's true. Uh, Adam, did it. you finish Fallout today? No. Fallout I, um, I, I knew I wasn't going to. I was faking everybody out because I was at the like big fake ending. So. Oh. Well, that just shows that I read your tweet and didn't check out the broadcast. So <laughs> I'm an asshole. That's okay. <laughs> uh, how far along are you? I don't know anything about the Fallout games except they exist. Yeah. So how far along are you? Uh, I am in the... Uh, nebulously racist part of the game where you're in San Francisco and there's Chinese people everywhere and the people who made the game are not very good at being sensitive about what Chinese culture is like. Uh, I see. It's a little uncomfortable. So I'm almost done. I've got that part and then I think there's like a big fight and then I'm 
I'm done. And after that, I'm moving on to Pillars of Eternity. Nice. It's, t- it's time. Yeah. Nice. The game's pretty good. Or at least the first that. four hours were. Or, yeah, four hours. That's all. Yeah, I before Bloodborne took over the whole internet? <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of... It's not a yeah, good stream game. Yeah, some people... Think. Yeah. I, well, it Mitch, depends. Like, Pillars. Pillars? Oh. It's all reading. Yeah, no, yeah, the, the, people, the people that tune into my stream tune in to listen to me read stuff in funny voices, so it's, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. there you go, Unless you're like a Total Biscuit or someone that has a good reading voice and can actually read and not like stutter every five seconds like I do when I try to read, so it's a terrible broadcast. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm going to get some Masterpiece Theater up in there, and it'll be, it'll be good. <laughs> you, should, you should practice, JP, by reading WoW quests. Just go play WoW. I've never quests. read a single WoW quest <laughs> except for Man Kirk's Wife. I think I've read that, and that's it. It's the only one I've ever read. I Stun think. wonders for me. I've gotten to a point in WoW. I just like that's why Final Fantasy sucked because I just didn't have a giant arrow to follow as I traversed <laughs> through the leveling of Final Fantasy. But now we're done with that, at least with one class. Yeah. We have thirty more to go, or some bullshit, which I'm never. Are there really thirty classes? No, that's a made up number. There's uh, oh. how many how many jobs slash classes are there, Dodger? Do you know? Well, classes and jobs are very different, JP. God damn it! Uh, <laughs> wow. I think there's eight. There's jobs? a fuck ton of classes. Eight or classes nine jobs are also like trade things. Yeah, right? I think there's. Sure. You could probably Google it and find the information much faster than us. In Final Fantasy fourteen. Category jobs. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna guess today on Dodger reads wow. the internet. I'm gonna yeah. go with nine. I want Dodger to Yahoo answers for me now. Fourteen. Ten. It looks like ten jobs. <laughs> ten jobs, and but there what, will be about, thirteen after the expansion. But what about classes? Because classes are different, like you said. Dog, I don't want to find out how many classes there are. Did you there's close like, that already? there's battle classes. There's fucking yeah. like tradesman classes. There's I a have lot to of count this shit. It doesn't just say here's a m- number. <laughs> nine classes, ten jobs, according to chap. There's only nine. I think you miscounted, by the way. Oh damn! Nine classes? You all crazy? Nine jobs. That's not true. Be brutal tonight. Nine classes and nine jobs. Eleven crafting. There, there's your answer, Kayla. Well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> there you Good go. to know. There you go. Uh, Kayla, what's been going on with you? What have you been up guess. to? Guess. Take a wild guess. Uh, Find you, Starcraft. You're level 50 in Final Fantasy. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> Dude, I keep trying to download it, and it just crashes. And then I'm like, I just, I wake up in the morning, I'm like, what's this message? Okay. And I'm like, oh, fuck, I needed that error code. Like, every yeah. morning. <laughs> <laughs> You did that code. You gotta figure out what the error code is because I don't know how to help you without that. Nope. So there you go. So you've been playing StarCraft? Yep. There you go. I got, up to rank, I got up to rank 140 on the GM ladder. Nice. nice. Does that yeah, reset? Yeah, it's getting up there. Like, what, what, are they doing anything special with the beta tomorrow? Besides I have the no beta? idea. I think there's just the beta. Oh. And then we're going to play Archon mode. Okay. <laughs> Sounds cool. Sounds what cool. race are we going to play? First, we should have Dodger count the races, though. How many races <laughs> in StarCraft, Dodger? <laughs> uh, well, actually, I think that there's... In StarCraft? Uh, so. Three, right? <laughs> I guess go. if random counted. Not really, though. You're getting into what? some weird you bullshit can't, now. You can't, put, you can't put that on your census form, like, race, uh, random. <laughs> I choose red. Whatever, whatever you got. I'll just whatever feels that. right to you. Yeah, turns out I'm <laughs> Dutch. Okay. There you go. There you go. Dodger, you dyed your hair blue. Yeah. How's that? I how's how's the blue though. life going? I'm loving it. Not in a McDonald's way, but in just a general like. Are <laughs> you like pull up your McDonald's and eat a fry? Way. <laughs> yeah, just put on the hat. We're on the fifty. I also nuggets. got a new job. We got a sponsorship from later. McDonald's. It took a couple months, but it's finally here. We got our fifty. <laughs> we finally got that one line yeah, out yeah, yeah. in a nice, easy way. There you go. Uh, no, I'm digging it. I said for like what three months. I was like, "Blue's gonna happen, guys. Don't worry. It's totally gonna happen." And I kept having different shoots and things where they were like, "We'd really prefer it if you had normal hair." And I was like, "Fuck!" And finally, I had nothing coming down the pipe. 
and I knew that I could make it blue. <laughs> Shit's going rough. I'm going to have a rough couple of months, but I'm dying my hair blue. That's what, you, that's yeah. what you're saying. I'm going to dye my hair blue. Once once all the shit's done, the blue's <laughs> happening. And it did. And I am delighted with it. And Sam is colorblind, so he keeps looking at me and being like, are you sure it's not purple? It looks purple <laughs> to me. And I'm like, it's not, honey. I love you, though. Nice. And then he goes, I think it looks nice. And I'm like, thanks, honey. <laughs> So two questions. Are you tired? Like, do a lot of people like give blue jokes? They say like the Smurf or like ask you if your favorite song is I'm blue or sh- all that shit. Are you tired mm-hmm. of that yet? All of those have already happened many yeah. times. Yeah. Is it are you already over it? You just kind of like nod your head uh, and move on. Well, I have yet to acknowledge any of them. So mm. I'm not sick of acknowledging them because that has literally never happened. But okay. the I would I would say. If you intend on making a blue joke, mm-hmm. maybe think outside the box. Oh. If a joke comes to your mind immediately and you're like, I should make this joke on Twitter. It's probably and not then outside the box. Reflect to yourself, like, maybe somebody else has made that joke because they most likely have. So I, Sam, right off the bat, started in with the Marge comments. I saw that was like um, day one. Somebody day else, because people kept saying that I was going to be like Smurfette and he got really angry because Smurfette has blonde what? hair. Yeah, yeah, she's blonde, yeah. right? Yeah. Obviously. Fucking and he was wow. like, stop making Smurfette jokes. It's not accurate. She has blonde hair. And then somebody was like, what about Marge jokes? And he was like, I'm in. I'm in on that. And so then the Marge jokes. Wow. I see. You know what I found out? I Just now? I just found now? out that I'm not an asshole. Because <laughs> I saw Dodger Sarah and it's like, oh, Dodger... I, you had an you had an Elsa moment right there. It was like you were you were just frozen and frozen, but I I could have been an asshole and been like, oh, you look like Marge Simpson. See, I wouldn't go with, I wouldn't go with the references. I'd go with the pun if it were me. I'd be like, Dodger, you blew it. That'd be ah. a nice, oh. nice and simple. Just low, low, low I bet you that one, there. Has that one been done? That sounds like a been done. I don't know. Uh, no. no. Good there you job, go. Man. No, like Tobias Junke. Just... No, you blew yourself. None of mm-hmm. those. Yeah. I have made the I blew myself yes. <laughs> quite a few times now. I saw that I think I saw that tweet. Mm-hmm. That was a literal tweet. Just so you guys nice. know. Literal. It literally happened. Literally. It, it was although literally. I have I have realized that if you try to write I blued myself, um, it just looks like you said I blood myself. <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone's confused. So nice. nice. If you're gonna join the blue life, think about that before you tweet. Blue life. Do you get a lot, like, I've, I've always been fascinated with people with other, hey, do you get a lot of looks when you're out and about, or can people even tell, because it's, it's Tippy, not, like, have you met blood. Dodger before? <laughs> like, what? I don't think this, I don't think this changes it very much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's mostly, like, actually, it's a lot of older women who are like, your hair looks fun, I want to do that. It's normally, like, oh, so it's the probably fun. age 50 and up, it's older women being like, that's so fun, I want to do something like that. I like that. How do you what what dye did you use? And then what do you, everybody what do you else. Think, what, what do you think? We can we get the senior citizen vote on this? Um, I would say wow. what on, on does what it look like think fun? about it? Yeah, does it look like fun? Would you oh well, it? the senior citizen vote is that any colored hair is totally okay. Like I mean, come on, man. Haven't you ever seen some old Wait, I gotta, ladies? What what is like different about your red hair, like, hair and pink hair and blue? Wait, what did you actually get cut? Green. I'm just gonna. Is it shorter on the sides, the sides here? What is? Dude, it? you know what? It's up to your imagination to figure that shit out. I'm trying and I can't. I don't know. You said it was like the San Franciscan haircut, and I don't know what's different about it. What versus what I had before? Yeah. Well, look at. I mean. Look at, I guess it's shorter on the side. Maybe it's just it's shorter. Shorter on the sides. Yeah. What it's just you, shorter. It's it's just, just shorter. The sides just are shorter. shorter. I kept the I kept the front and the top long. There you go. There you go. Uh this has officially been the weirdest intro for any I, I don't ever. know what you Definitely. wanted out of me. I don't yeah. either. Yeah. I was just curious. I'm just asking questions that I want I to answer to not because they're good questions. <laughs> you got a bro crush on me, JP, and it's okay. No. I got a well The question is do mind. you prove? Uh, you know, I think you could have gone to someone else other than Ben's stylist, if that's Ben's stylist. Ben? Yeah. Is this, is that where you're going now, is Fishstick's stylist? What? Okay. Fishstick's has, like, curly fucking hair, dude. Okay. My hair is way more beautiful than his. All right, then he lied. (laughs) He straight up lied. I'm calling you out, Ben. You lied to me. No, he might have. I don't know. Oh, now you're, now you're falling back on it? What? 
I, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Tests. I don't actually, I don't keep a spreadsheet of like where people go and get their fucking haircuts in San Francisco. <laughs> well, why not? We, why <laughs> because the fuck I got not? too much other shit to do. <laughs> Someone else All can right. do that. Guys, if you could say that there was one person in the community that you hated the most, who would it be? I just, I'm just wondering how we can make this worse. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, Stephen Logan. Well, I'm glad you asked, Dodger, because I've been. No. <laughs> I actually have been holding this in for so it's long. It's probably it's, yeah. Weed has a spreadsheet for it. It's probably Stephen, though. It's probably the yeah. It's definitely that. Stephen. Like, Me and Adam could. Yeah. <laughs> Adam, where did we last leave off in the show? Well, before know. we get to before we get to that, uh, we have some rewards to hand out. Um, so let's in the traditional fashion, review our karmic awards for last session. So in episode seven, our most valuable player, so the player who made the crucial roles, so the party could face down the big problem, be setting it in the session with 56% of the total votes, Bon Bon. Oh, Enjoy your karma, Bon Bon. Yeah. What was the percentage? 66? 56. 56, yeah. okay. I'm trying to remember what even happened. Yeah, what was? What uh, was I, think, I, I think that this goes for the uh, finding a safe place to hide out, the hotel, mm -hmm. hotel magic. Oh, the hotel! Oh, fuck! I remember yeah. that now, yep. The carbon box. I watched yeah, John so Wick think... over the weekend. Actually, last night. It's a good movie. I watched it for the second time. Let's go watch John Wick. I'm yeah, excited about, about this guy. Eat some, eat some <laughs> it's a McDonald's. Go watch John Wick. It's amazing, right? You have I've, seen No, it. I've seen it twice. I, oh, I, it was I good. still haven't seen it, but that's fine. So Best good. intro um, movie ever. So Dog anyway. dies. It's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So our our team worker team worker award. So this is the the player uh, who worked the hardest to keep the group together and in good shape goes to the ones who help despite the risk, spend all their gear and and time for their mates and sacrifice their goals for their companions. Uh, you can't have MVP and team worker, but it doesn't even matter because breakdown took this one by a landslide. Nice. Woo! Congrats. This is traditionally the Bon Bon Award too. Thank so you, everyone. The MVP one. Except. Yeah, usually. Well, teamwork is usually uh, usually Bon Bon tradition. Yeah, Bon Bon's the one that's actually like giving a damn and trying to save the team every time. So. <laughs> so the the next one, the embodiment award, role playing in a believable and entertaining manner throughout the entire session. This one's good because it's it's usually it's usually like a little like tight, but this one was very close. Um, I'm sorry to say, Weed, you're still at the bottom of this one despite your awesome accent. I will never Look. understand why. Yeah, I don't get it. Accents aren't in, guys. They've already been done before. All right, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Oh, when you're weak, you do the Silence same one every week, accents. so I'm just saying. You can't it's be Davies. effective and entertaining, apparently. <laughs> yeah. So this one, the percentage was like within 1% or 2% for everybody. Uh, Crusher, you take it by 1% over Whoa. break. Whoa. Didn't yeah. even fucking say anything. <laughs> it's not about <laughs> it's not say. It's about method. Shit. It's not even method acting. It's so I'm a fucking mime. Like a next <laughs> goddamn level mime. Who doesn't like mimes? 2050 mime. My yeah. new nickname, Cyber Mime. Me. That's gonna be my nickname in the mime. Legacy of the Void, baby. Yeah, you Cyber didn't Mime. Even mime anything though. <sighs> God damn it, Caitlin. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's even better in a role playing game because you're not actually doing anything. You're describing yourself, not talking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we got that going. For and us. I, I need to get better. I need to just like act out. But I'm because you get we have webcam. Like we got visual. I need to just do that more instead of. Saying. So how do you act out bleeding on someone? I mean, I'll just yeah. go get some paint, and we'll just fuck throw the it robot. around. Oh, that's right. <laughs> JP, start start practicing doing the robot, because that's going to be like an integral move for you. There you go. There you go. You'll be okay, Breakdown? You woke right. up in the middle of the night and vomited blood everywhere. <laughs> oh, I forgot so about that. Sick. Yeah, because your soul is damaged, and then that dwarf came in and, and patched you up. Yeah. Yep. 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 So before we before we get started, let's review real quick. Um, characters have uh, three additional traits added to their character sheet above and beyond normal shadow run. We have a uh, belief, an instinct, and a goal. Belief is a thing that your character believes is true about the world, and pursuing that belief uh, or having it complicate their life will earn them karma at the end of the session. You have an instinct. Your instincts are things that your character does without thinking. If you ignore them, that's fine. You can. Everybody fights their instincts sometimes. But if you play your instinct in a way that causes your character uh, trouble or complication, you'll earn karma at the end of the session, and you will have a goal. And your goal is the thing that once you achieve it, uh, you will get karma. Um, you can rewrite all three of these before we start the session. Um, does everybody want to go around and, and remind us what our beliefs, instincts, and goals are? 
Anyone can start. <laughs> yeah. start bon bon. You're in charge. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm obviously the leader of this group. Is my belief. My goal is protect breakdown. I'll do the long. I won't do the long. The instinct is I'm a hacker and I must hack. It's a new one, right? Your new instinct. Yeah, I, I changed it in the last session. I like that one. Okay, cool. Crusher, it's your belief, instinct, and goal. Uh, can my belief be? So I believe something is going to happen between someone and the party. Can that be a yeah. belief? Totally. Okay. Yeah, I believe yeah. Bon Bon and Breakdown will hook up. Okay. All right. <laughs> so your new belief. If that belief, belief. Yeah, if, if that belief gets your character in trouble or causes you some kind of complication in your life, you'll get karma for it. Perfect. What's what's your instinct? Uh see magic run away and then my goal uh <clears throat> Gimme give gimme give till the end of everyone else's all Sure, new yeah, you want to rewrite your goal? Okay. Breakdown, what's your belief, instinct, and goal? So <laughs> Breakdown's going through some shit. Yeah. Right now. Um, some like, who am I? What do I believe? Sort of shit. So, um, I'm changing my belief from uh, I won't take part in killing another human being or another living being to everything happens for a reason. Oh. I'm not sure how to apply that to a role. So, is there a way that I can write that so that it could apply to a role? Well, um, I mean, you can make a role that's not necessarily in the best interest of your character. Like, it doesn't have to be, like, the role itself is about the belief, but you have to make the role because of your belief. So if you're like, oh, everything happens for a reason, I should just do this obviously bad thing, because if I wasn't in a position to do it, it wouldn't be happening, right? right. So the other thing, too, is, like, just com complicate your character's life in a way that... Uh, will will make things less easy for you according to your belief, and then as long as there's a role involved somewhere, then you'll be able to get karma. Okay. Um. All right. So belief, everything happens for a reason. My goal is still to eventually like, um, converse with the whale shaman. Okay. And uh, my instinct is I will stop what I'm doing to heal my teammates. Excellent. And you have uh, information that will lead you to the, the whale shaman, right? Like yes. Right, Houseboat the... whale shaman yes. <laughs> is what's in my notes. <laughs> cool. Okay. Um, and Night Sass, what are your beliefs, instincts, and goals? My belief is Stam is the most important thing. And I'm still not sure how I would roll for that. Like, a charisma role, but I don't know like what situation I would get into for it. The next, the next time that the party is trying to be stealthy in a crowd environment, just like get really loud and start telling everybody who you are, and I'll make a roll to see if anyone notices you, and then you're good to go. <laughs> I see. Okay, and then my goal is intimidate someone with violence, and hey, my you instinct. Wanna, you want to keep that goal? So you want to just keep doing that? I mean, you're allowed. I'm just checking. It's, it's gonna happen soon. I feel like it's coming. Okay. Cool. You know. I mean, you did it last time, so just keep doing it. I did? Yeah, remember there was the, the Irish racist dude, and you were like, I'm going to cut your face, and then you cut his face. <laughs> oh, did I actually intimidate really... him, though? Yeah. You, okay. You, yes, and then you Maybe pistol I'm, whipped him I'm in the face. Karma. Yeah, I, I hope so. <laughs> you earned I it. So <laughs> and then my instinct is uh, just, like, name-dropping famous names and telling people I'm famous, things like that. Cool. Can't yeah. resist. Yep. All righty. Do you have your Do you have your new goal, uh, Crusher? Uh, so my original goal was change someone's belief. Yep. Uh, and I think I'm gonna since that just hasn't happened and it's really hard to do. We're gonna make the new goal is to have mm. someone believe in me. Okay. Cool. That's good. Aw, like, that's I cute. I don't know how I'm gonna do that either. So I'll try to figure that out this episode. If it doesn't work, we'll change it up. Sure. I guess yeah. It's and that's... Like if someone were to make a roll on. Like if you were trying to urge somebody to do something and you were successful, maybe? Yeah, or like uh, convincing someone not to put themselves in danger and you do it. Where you're like, no, stay here. I'll take care of this. And they're like, yes, for sure, you can do it. See, you I'm know, thinking like, more in a biblical sense, but these are all good ideas. That you guys oh, okay. Uh, so, like, start the Church of Crusher. I don't want to do the whole church thing every again. Character. It happens, yeah, it happens <laughs> with all my characters where I start a religion. I don't know why I'm. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Uh, maybe we'll go with what you guys are saying. That sounds better. <laughs> <laughs> not not believing you spiritually, but emotionally. <laughs> Is there any role play show where like a statue of you wasn't erected? Uh, There's no Higgs statue yet. I mean, there is, but we just don't know about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure on some ancient civilization there is a Higgs statue somewhere. Yeah, it's on Shindalia. Yep. Yep. 
Yeah, I don't... I I think there's no Hig statue. There was a... There wasn't a Bubba statue either. There was just a re religion formed around me, which is kind of <laughs> yeah. fun. Yeah. That was fun. That was a good one. Uh, <laughs> good Tadagab had a statue. I think everyone else is... Haven't done in... Uh, we're, we're, we're coming up on Kurthak statue, though. That's going to be built pretty soon. <laughs> You should just start marketing like figurines of all your characters. Yeah, those are fucking expensive, but I should. <laughs> I've already looked into it. I've already looked into it. It's expensive as shit. All right, where do we le we left off outside of the hotel? Are we in the hotel? No, you're you're in the hotel. It is the morning of Sunday, August the fourteenth. Um, Saturday was your your day off, and you guys spent the day hanging out with um, Hadia and showing her around, and just generally like having a kind of eighties comedy movie buddy montage. You know, like you went to a ah. car went to a car wash, and there's like some scenes of you spraying each other with hoses, and like you know, sure. And then a customer Maurice being like really sad. Yeah, alone. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was driving you around on fun like park. Laughing fun at Maurice. Day. And a fucking car, Maurice. Nobody likes you. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Because Maurice is all all up in Bon Bon's business and breakdowns having a having a problem with that. It's not like I like Bon Bon or anything. It's just Maurice is like being a little bit too in intense. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, he's totally. the back up. Not a personal thing at all. Um, cool. All right. So uh, according to the schedule, uh, the first thing that uh, Hadia needs to do, besides like get up and get dressed and eat breakfast, is visit the Redmond School for Awakened Youth. Um, she has some meetings with the faculty there. Um, now, for everyone who's not already familiar with the fictional Redmond of, of Shadowrun, not the real one, not the real one, which is nice and has a bunch of rich people living in it, but uh, in, in Shadowrun, after the big, like, first Matrix crash in 2030, um, there was a, like, nuclear reactor failure in Redmond, and it blew up, and there's, like, radiation everywhere, there are a lot of ghouls that live in Redmond now, live, depending on your opinion of ghouls, um, they call it Glow City. To the point where the entire Redmond neighborhood was blocked off by the city of Seattle. There's like a big Berlin Wall thing around it, and like security checkpoints, um, keeping people from freely passing in and out because it's a dangerous neighborhood. Um, none of the city or corporate security forces operate there. It's basically just like gang territory, and there's like constant gunfights in the streets, and it's like Baltimore in the '90s, um, but with orcs. I don't think there were orcs in Baltimore. Baltimore in the '90s. Um, yeah. Sure. And um, yeah, and so she's got to go there because it's it's functionally like a goblin like ghetto, right? Like orcs and trolls just kind of like end up there because they can't find housing anywhere else. It's like the poorest neighborhood in the UCAS. Uh, it's a bad scene, um, but there's a lot of like community work being done there, and she's got a meeting at this like school for awakened youth. It's like the Professor X school for magic orcs. Um, yeah, and she's got that at 10, and it's like, I don't know, whenever you guys wake up, like 7.30 or 8. Yeah, because yeah, we, we just wake had up like a early. chill day yesterday. Yeah, we wake yeah. up early. You're just kicking it. Yeah. We're still right, in the, the pimp hotel, right? Yeah, there's still like real coffee and shit in this place. Yeah, yeah. you have you have yeah one one more night, I think. Um, or no, this was, this was the last night where you had Friday and Saturday, and then concierge dude was going to check for you about getting another night. Are there like little um, soap or like shampoo bottles <laughs> and little soaps and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, yeah, I just go around like packets of coffee, maybe like instant coffee. I just go around and I take those. And I stuff sure. them into my bag that I put in my guitar. Every okay. night, so they refill them the next day. Yeah, every <laughs> night. Yeah, this is use a lot of shampoo. Yeah. Okay, you can you can write on your inventory uh, <clears throat> hotel miscellanea if you want. All right. All right, considering we've had some problems with a few of our uh, activities, I'm going to suggest that two of us head to the Redmond School while the other two of us head to the Orc Community Outreach Center early just to make sure that everything is okay. Okay. <laughs> I start offering some of the soaps to break down. I'm like, do you want one of these? Here. 
Oh, Take it. Not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take it so that it's not as awkward, but then just kind of like set it on the other side of me. <laughs> the plastic her. wrapper stings a little. Cru- <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Prussia and Breakdown. You go to the Alt Community Outreach Center. You make sure you walk around a few times. You interview the crew. Make sure nothing's nothing's fishy. And that we're going to be okay. When you're done, you head back to the Redmond School where me and Night Sass are going to go and check things out before the Dia arrives at 10 o'clock. Okay. I look at Crusher. <laughs> uh, it, regarding transportation, why don't Maurice take us to the Redmond School? You take a troll taxi over to the Alt Community Outreach Center, and then Maurice is going to swing back, pick up Hadia, and then pick you up and meet us over there at 10. So, Hadia, is Hadia here for this conversation, or are you guys having like a special yeah. Shadowrunners only meeting? Oh, I don't know. Are we? Shadow- no, Hadia should be involved. <laughs> yeah, okay. I just want to think here. Yeah. So, Bon Bon, when you say that, uh, Hadia pipes up and, and she's like, no, I don't. I don't want to say anything controversial here or anything, but parts of that plan sound very bad to me. Um, there's no taxi in the city that will go to Redmond. No chance, no matter how much you pay them. And taking a limo there, that's just asking for trouble. We need to find alternate means to get in and out of the Barrens. It's an unfortunate truth, but if we take the limo, we won't get three blocks before the tires are burst and we're robbed. I have my car. Oh, I don't know where it is. <laughs> Never mind. You, you don't know where your car is. <laughs> I mean, we've moved around so much. We'll find it later. Um, so are you suggesting that we like change our appearances so that we look like grungier, so people don't want to rob us? Like maybe break down as semester clothes for all of us? The scum is at you. <laughs> I like look at myself. I'm like. Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hadia, you do make a good point. Uh, so it's eight o'clock. Uh, I have no fucking idea what what the fuck we. Uh, is our van still over at the other? At the hotel. I mean, what you're suggesting, we need to drive in with the biggest piece of shit. Well, not necessarily. Um, you know, I'm just, like, Hadia is just mentioning a, a fact that I think probably most of you would kind of, like, realize after thinking about it that, like, yeah, it's it's a war zone, and if you drive in there with a limo, like, she's right, like, you're going to get carjacked so fast. Like, Maurice probably won't even agree to go there, because it's not his car, right? Right. Um, and, like, finding a cab into the bad part of town when the bad part of town is walled off and irradiated and full of gangsters... Also going to be really difficult. Um, you could find transport once you get in. You could get someone to take you to the Barrens, but after that, yeah, it's semi-apocalyptic wasteland in there. So, can we steal our car? Like... We'll give it back. <laughs> <laughs> no, Not, just throwing it out there. I'm just nodding as you say we should steal a car. Are there Crush abandoned agrees. subways or like underground tunnels? Shouldn't there be? Um, over the place? Sure, yeah, so, perhaps. So there is there is a subway system, um, but it doesn't it doesn't like the Redmond stops are all shut down and abandoned. We don't have money. <coughs> right? We've u- we've used it all at this point. I've used I have, all my money. I have money. <laughs> and I know JP does. But he's going to just pretend like, you know, <laughs> can't talk in real life either. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we need to call someone that will take us there. All right. All right. You know what? All right. Fine. I'll do it. I'll call Maurice. I'll see if maybe his cousin, the gang members, maybe, maybe... This is that favor I can get from them. Maybe maybe they can escort us in. Yeah, that's that's certainly a thing that's possible. All right. 
Okay. You want to call? Uh, you want to call Maurice? <laughs> I know how much you love doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and, I want to ask Maurice. Him, ask him for a favor, no less. Oh, God. Are you sure we shouldn't just steal a car? <laughs> no, we should call Maurice. All right, let's call him. Okay. Is there only one phone in the hotel? Uh, well, not the whole hotel, but in the room, yeah. There's just the one on the wall by the door. As you kind of reach for the phone, I grab the phone and just, like, pull it and <laughs> cut the cord. So that you can't get Oh, yeah? Yeah? yeah. The Just one, on, the one the on my wrist? The one on my wrist, Crusher? The one. Because <laughs> he yanks your wrist. arm out of the socket. I, I just. I, I look down at the phone and I kind of frown and put it back down. <laughs> <laughs> it's just hanging by the cord now. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's probably very expensive. All right, fucking Maurice. Well, remember, you don't have signal on your wrist phone in here. It's like a Faraday cage, so you have to go, out, have to go outside to call them or whatever. All right. I'm at the elevator pulling a <laughs> crusher. I just want a crusher. <laughs> okay. All right. So we wipe to you outside. So, Bamban, you're out on the curb now, and it's it's daytime. Um, it's Sunday, but there's, like, a bunch of places that are open, and there's, like, people coming and going. You're in kind of, like, an expensive neighborhood. Um you get a few looks from people at like a cafe nearby when they see you come out of this like weird expensive hotel. They're just like, "Ooh, who's that?" Like kind of like whispering to each other, gossipy. Um, and yeah, you're you're under the curb. It's cars parked along either side. It's like a nice August day here in Seattle. What do you want to do? Yeah, well, I still kind of like back into the shadow of whatever <laughs> you okay. know areas around me, not to be like, "I'm a decker on the side of the street talking in my phone." No, so. Okay. I just kind of slink into the shadows. Like you do. Okay. All right, so you're you're kind of like around the corner, like in an alley. But it's like the nicest alley you've ever been in. It's like really clean. They have recycling bins. Great. Awesome. Okay. There's no rats. <laughs> um, it's a plus. All right, so you call, you call uh, Maurice up? Yep. Okay. Yeah, he answers. Maurice, I, uh, I need a favor, Maurice. Just like a long, like, pregnant <laughs> pause. Uh, and he's like, "Is that so?" <laughs> right, it is. Okay. Um. So listen, uh, Hadia needs to go to Redmond today, and as you know, Redmond's not a very friendly place. And um, well, I was hoping maybe you could uh, contact your cousin and make sure that me and my friends got in and out of Redmond okay. You know, I know you're a, I know you're a man of many driving talents. I thought maybe you could make this work for us. So he's like, uh, again, like a little pause while he seems to be thinking it over. Uh, you can hear like music playing quietly in the background somewhere. Um, and he, uh, he's like, you and your friends want to go to Redmond. That's right. You, you, you do know about Redmond, don't you? Like, sure, maybe that big guy, that orc girl you're traveling with, fine, but you, Rockstar, not that you're going to do okay there. That's a bad neighborhood, girl. <laughs> well, that's why you and your cousins being there, that will just help out the situation. Oh, so you think because I'm an orc, my cousins will be able to help you out in Redmond? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying this because you told me that your cousin was a tough motherfucker, and I thought maybe that he could help us out here, but Maurice, I understand. If, if, you, think that, <laughs> if you think that this job isn't for you, I, I get it. I, I totally get it. I'll call one of my other boyfriends then. It would be, I'm just going to point out, it would be very difficult to have a video conversation with you right now because you're waving your arms around like a crazy person. So he's just seeing like the sky and the walls. And, like... So once you once you recover your position and get back on your Dick Tracy phone, um, he uh, he says, uh, "Well, make make a make a charisma roll for me." All right, all right. Difficulty is uh, going to be four. Okay. Target number four. Okay. Uh, roll dice pool four, four, two successes. Okay. All right. So he um, he says uh, after you're done getting all upset, he's like, "Girl, I'm just messing with you. 
Yeah, let me call Deshaun. I'll call you back. <laughs> and, All right. um, yeah, and then he, he hangs up to, uh, to call his, uh, call his cousin. Uh, Adam, while Bon Bon is outside, I hand a piece of paper to Knight's ass with the two words that are written in roll 20 and the two unchecked boxes in a pen. <laughs> I'm just kind of like, <laughs> make, like, which one? Who checked both of them? <laughs> Some already picked them. I didn't do that, but yeah, who? <laughs> who checked both of them? <laughs> well, me. Might have been me. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about. <laughs> All right. I, I just start looking at it and like really thinking about this. You know, Crusher. Like the name can really make or break it. <laughs> A celebrity relationship. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. It's going to be in the tabloids one day, with the help of me. Just, and you? Just like rubbing my chin. Me. Thinking really hard about this. And then, after, like, do you, are you just sitting there thinking? Oh yeah, I'm just thinking. Okay, I just draw uh, this. <laughs> Lots of art today. <laughs> and hand it back. And I just scratch my chin a little bit. Is that, a, is that a dog or <laughs> a butterfly, maybe? Man. This whole time I've just been like kind of pacing. Like, um, oh, you guys, think, uh, what are you looking at? What are you? <clears throat> I think if, if she notices you pacing around, Hidea will come over to you, um, break down, and, uh, and like kind of like usher you away, like to the kitchen or like some like other area where she can talk to you. Okay. Um, and uh, and once you know, once you have some like relative like privacy while well, Knight's ass and Crusher are discussing your relationship, um, privately she, though, like it's on yeah. a sheet of paper, like yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't know you don't know what's happening. You're yeah. trying to come up with the smush name, which is a very important part of Super establishing important. a relationship. Exactly, yeah. exactly. I get it. Um, and Hadia, yeah, Hadia says to you, um, she's like, "You seem a little high strung this morning. Are you okay?" Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm... Yep, really good. How are you? Are you okay? Let's talk about you. I'm fine. We're just... We're going to a, kind of a dangerous place today, and... I don't want to offend you or anything. I know you're a Shadowrunner. I've seen you in action. You do good work, but it's um, maybe a different kind of dangerous, and I'm a little worried about you. I'm not saying I want you to stay here or not, or not come with us. I, I do. I want I want you there. I want you to be there. And she like, you know, kind of <laughs> touches your arm in like a sort right. of awkward way. Um, and she's like, but I just want to make sure you're, you know, like ready for this. I like nod. No, I... Yeah. I know what you're saying. I totally get it. Um, honestly, I have no idea what Redmond is like. I don't know anything about it. I just... You know, this is like, I'm I'm doing this, right? So I guess I'm just going to do my best. Uh, I just kind of like, like put my elbows <laughs> on the counter and just like put my hand in my hand. Like, It'll be fine. She, she kind of like, kind of like rubs your back. It's <laughs> like, okay, well, I mean, if you want to talk about it, I mean, I haven't been there myself, but, you know, I, I read a lot of papers about the situation in Redmond, and I kind of think I know what's going on there. And, you know, if you... Want to talk about it with me before we go, or whatever? That's that's cool. I saw a bunch of like brunch places outside. We could go get some food, maybe. Am I gonna mutate? Like, okay, so like, is it? Am I gonna walk in there and then grow another arm? Like, what are we talking about? <laughs> she um, she kind of looks at you like, are you serious? Like, for real? <laughs> and then and then she's like, no, no, honey, you're not gonna mu mutate. There's no okay. mutants in the Barrens. Just a lot of really poor, desperate people with nowhere else to go. Okay. I would probably keep that mutant stuff to yourself if you're worried about it. Okay. <laughs> she seems a little embarrassed for you that you would ask that. Like, I don't know. I walk in there and grow another arm. I want to know that that's going to happen ahead of time, right? <laughs> uh, good. Get a heads up, you know. Yeah. 
case of third arm syndrome. Um, okay, so uh, outside, your your watch rings, Bon Bon. Um, hello? So, um, yeah, it's Maurice uh, on the other side, and he says, um, he uh, he's like, all right, here's, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to take you as far as the security checkpoint in the limo. I'm going to drop you off. You go through the checkpoint, it's going to be easy going this way. It'll be getting out that's going to be a problem. We'll talk about that later. On the other side, there's Deshaun. He's my cousin. Don't be scared of him. Kind of scary looking dude. He's going to be with some of his friends. He said he's going to bring transport. Now, you got to give him something. It's a package. I'm going to give it to you. You give it to him. You give it to him, he's going to take you wherever you need to go. He can be a protection wire. All right, wait, Maurice, hold on one second. Is there a live animal in the package? He shakes his head. No, girl. Nobody right. cares what. Nobody cares what's going into the Barrens. Is it gonna blow up? No, no, it's not gonna blow up. All right, I don't care then. All right, good. That's good. That's how the deal goes. So I'll give you the package. You take it to Deshaun. Give it to him. He's gonna take care of you. But I gotta tell you, this is still a risk for you, right? Because human as you are, you're gonna be a target no matter what. And now the heat's going to be on Deshaun, too. So just listen. Do whatever he tells you to do. Don't do anything stupid, okay? Keep your friends under control. Can you do that for me? Please? All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. This is this is great. So you're going to pick us up um, in about, what, uh, an, about an hour, 45 minutes? Yeah. Sure. That okay, sounds good. Great. On my way. And then we're going to meet with Deshaun inside. He's going to have transport to our two locations. Yeah, he'll take care of you. All right. So, Maurice, if this place is as crazy as you say it is, then it's probably not likely that a bunch of humanus crazy cats are going to run through here and do some, some shit to oh. my escort. Oh, fuck no, girl. You don't need to worry about the humanus in there. That is not your problem. <laughs> Look, your friend Hidea, she's going to be fine. It's you I'm worried about. So, watch your ass. And he, uh, he hangs up. So let's, let's right. take a break there, and we can pick up at the, at the Baron's entrance later. Cool. All right, Good. we'll take our first break. Still got three hours to go here on... All right. We gate, I think. I think that's right. We gate. Whatever. I didn't look. Everyone says it's right. It's right. We'll see you guys after the break. We'll be right back.